There it is, 7.5. Test mark at Super Mario Brothers. Let you guys get a good look. CLB. Got a sticker. Hmm, box got a 7 and the cart got a 6.5, but the shitty manual got a 9.2, so we're going to have to go home and address this because this is not what I thought I'd get. That manual was nowhere near a 9.2. It had a tear in it. So I think... Sorry, I just did my brakes. I think that 9.2 should have either been the cart or the box. Weird. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the game room. All right, guys. We're at Retro World Expo. It's going bye-bye. See you later. What's up, everybody? I'm back with the WADA update on what exactly happened to my game. Watching the opening scene, you're probably wondering why I got two different grades. So I'm going to tell you this right now. sent me the wrong manual what do you mean that you mixed my game up with somebody else's and you're a professional grading service really well that's what happened to mine so as you saw in the first unboxing i got a 7.5 noticed right away wasn't even excited that i i got it back it was just like yeah whatever just did the brakes on my car and i'm like all right here we go Let's open this thing up and find out what I got. So, got a 7.5. Notice the manual was 9.2, which I immediately went bullshit because, hey, how can it be a 7, I mean a 9.2, when the manual had a tear in the back of it? So, <laughs> after waiting three and a half months to get this thing back, which actually wasn't too bad because I heard a lot of people are still waiting a year, a year and a half to get stuff back. But I think that's those those are the people that send like six things at one time. Anyway, not to get off topic. Wada You screwed up. It's alright. They 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 fixed the situation in the end. So this isn't a bash at Wada, but it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sending anything ever again to them. I'll probably wait till CGC comes. I'll send the rest of my sticker stuff there and get rid of it because people are buying this stuff. Believe it or not, there are people buying these video games. And I sold mine. It's gone. I don't have it anymore. It went farewell at Retro World Expo 2021, which was an amazing con, by the way. I'm on the phone with WADA because they finally called me. And that was probably... Not the smartest idea on their end, because if you ever try to call WADA, you never get a call back. Well, now I have a direct line into WADA. So I call literally every single day. Like, what happened? Finally, guy goes, oh, well, uh, we screwed up. We, uh, we were comparing the games and the manuals got swapped. And I'm like, so you mean to tell me, like, if I send a Babe Ruth baseball card... To PSA, and someone else sends the same exact Babe Ruth baseball card to PSA. You need to compare the two to grade them, and then put them in the same bin, and then forget whose is whose. Not good. Anyway, <laughs> I sent it back. Then they tell me, ah, "Oh wait!" While I send it back, I ask them, "Can I give you another manual and cart?" Which I did a trade with a, a guy, a mutual friend of Eric's and me, and is also a way that I acquired this bad boy. This was like the last grail piece for me. And, uh, needless to say, I got the manual, sent him another cart. Cart was gorgeous, by the way. Don't know what the deal was. Cart, they tell me, is the same exact grade, 6.5, I think it was, or 6.0, I don't even remember. And then both my manuals are imps. If you don't know what an imp is, it means it's not the right manual, which doesn't make sense because we're... you graded the other guys. Where's that 7.0 manual at? In the end, I pretty much 
said things to them, and uh, I basically, they bought me a manual to put in there. Ended up getting a 6.5. Got the box back. The day we were, the day before I left for Retro World Expo, I got the, the box, and I opened it with Eric and David before we were walking out the door to go to the convention in the morning. I deleted the video when I was editing the Retro World Expo video. And I don't have it anymore. It's gone. So I put that, you know, generic. The only video I have of this game is the one where it's sitting on top of my display case. That's it. I don't have another one. The 7.5, I filmed the video in here. I got more into depth. I don't feel like getting into very much depth with this. But let's say I got it back. 7.0 half a point off of what it originally came back as it's a hit but whatever um sold at a retro world expo the seller does not want to be identified i don't know why these guys do this doesn't want me to tell what he paid for it which i'm going to honor that because it's how i am i am that kind of person <laughs> i'm happy that's all i'm gonna say and it's gone forever out of my life. That was the worst six months of my life was the, the best, the best was, oh, well, we'll, we'll send you a, uh, um, a postage, you know, the, the, the postage to put on a box and send it out. Okay. I get it. <laughs> $25 insurance. That was fantastic. So I go down to the U UPS office and I insure the thing for $20,000 cost me like 80 bucks they paid it and i did get money back on the actual fee for grading this game so all this to say i'm never gonna deal with water again um i probably should have just sold the thing raw which i probably should just do with the rest of them you know i got the 10 yard fight here that sticker sealed i think baseball baseball is my double my double sticker so in the eyes of Wada, that's a rare variant. So, if anyone's interested in that stuff, just hit me up in the comment section below. If you haven't yet, please hit the like and subscribe button. I'd really like this channel to grow a little bit. Um, I just made a new intro. It's no longer 45 seconds long. Uh, <laughs> kind of figured out how analytics work, and I realized that most people that tune into the channel kind of didn't like the 45 second long intro because they'd click off the video right then and there so now it's only like 18.5 seconds long also i'm gonna cut back on the swearing a little bit you know can't be swearing anymore and uh try to learn more in editing and make this channel better throughout the 2022 year um other than that leave in the comment section below your wada nightmares um I do want to say thank you to Wada for actually fixing the problem and coming to a resolve with me on this. And, you know, 7.5 would have been a lot better. But I'm an honest guy. I wanted to know why it got that. And as soon as I sent them an email, they said it clicked because the other guy was like, why did my manual get this? So mistakes happen. Probably shouldn't happen. But it is what it is. Um, guys, have a happy Christmas. And, uh, wow, that was pretty good. Have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and a very, very safe and welcoming holiday this year. Um, until next time, happy hunting. See you on the next video.